In this micro lecture, you're going to learn the five steps to solving any word problem. What you're about to learn will help you with course assignments that require you to show your work. To get your marks, follow this process. But more than marks, what I'm about to teach you is a process that builds the analytical and disciplined thinking you will need to effectively deal with business problems. Okay, let's learn the five steps to solving any word problem. Step one, read the entire problem. Rocky Mountain Ski Hill charges $65 a day for an adult day pass and $30 a day for a youth day pass. If a day's revenue for the sale of a total of 1,430 passes of $78,250 how many of each type of pass was sold? Step 2. Read the problem again. You are going to need to record and label all the data. Your goal is going to be to find a variable. Rocky Mountain Ski Hill charges $65 a day for an adult day pass. Okay, let's write that down. $65 for an adult day pass and $30 for a youth day pass. Let's also write that down, $30 for a youth day pass. If a day's revenue for the sale of a total of 1,430 passes, okay, let's write this down, that there was 1,430 total number of passes sold. If that revenue was $78,250, Okay, let's write that down as well. $78,250 of total revenue. Okay, we've got all the data and we've labeled it. We now need to focus on the question. We need to know how many of each of the passes was sold. So let's get a little closer to answering this question. We've labeled all the data. We now need a variable. Pick a variable to represent the number of adult passes. Let's use m. m equals the number of adult passes sold in the day. Remember, the total number of passes was 1,430. Therefore, 1,430 minus m equals the number of youth, youth passes sold. OK, now we've got all of our data and some variables. It's time for step three. Step three, we're going to create a word equation that relates what we know, what we want to know. Let's take a look at this. Here's our word equation. We take our total revenue and that equals the adult price times the number of adult day passes sold plus the youth price times the number of youth day passes sold. There's our word equation. This all equals $78,250. We're going to, in step four, move this word equation and turn it into an algebraic expression. To do that, let's remember we already picked our variable. The number of adult passes equals m, and the number of youth passes equals 1,430 minus m. Time for step four. In step four, you convert the word equation to an algebraic expression. First, I'll read out the algebraic expression. As I read it, look at it and see what it is saying. 65m plus 30 times 1,430 minus m equals 78,250. Okay, let me explain each part. 65M, that's $65 times the number of adult day passes. 30 times 1,430 minus M, that's $30 times the number of youth day passes. Okay, we've got our algebraic expression. Now it's time for step five, solving. In step five, we solve and check. To solve this equation, we need to get m all alone. 
let's start. First, we need to get rid of the brackets by multiplying 30 by 1430 and 30 by the m. This will simplify the expression to 65m plus 42,900 minus 30m. Now let's move the fourth 42,900 over to the right side by subtracting it from each side. And also let's combine the 65m and the minus 30m. This will simplify the equation to 35m equals 35,350. Now we can get m all alone. We'll divide 35 from both sides. This will leave us with m equals 1,010. This is the number of adult day passes sold. Therefore, the number of youth day passes will equal 1,430 minus 1,010 to give us 420. So we have 1,010 adult passes and 420 youth passes. So it's time to check this. Let's check it. So 65 times 1,010 plus 30 times 420. That will give us 65,650 plus 12,600 to give us a total of 78,250. We've got the right answer. It's time to write our concluding statement.